Let your word come and penetrate into the hearts of men and women. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke the devil. We rebuke satanic spirits. In the name of Jesus, uh, we declare the eyes of the understanding of people be opened. I, I, I ask that they behold wonders out of your word tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the name of our Lord. When I came to London, I came with my laptop. <laughs> And um, all of a sudden, they said that uh, Microsoft Word is expired. <laughs> oh, my God. I said, well, no problem. So I'm using my phone tonight. Praise God. Last, thank God for the man and woman of God. Please help me to appreciate them. My covenant brother and sister. Hallelujah. My adopted brother and sister. Praise God. I, I, I told them I, I don't mind sleeping in the parlor. They just had to go and put me in an hotel. Oh, my God. I, 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 oh, my God. I felt so pampered. I said, Jesus. I had to video everything and show my children. Oh, my God. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm, I, I'm really honored. I'm humbled. Thank you so much. And thank you to everyone that is supporting them. These are women, man and woman of God I've known for years. And they've been supporting our ministry back home in Nigeria. Hallelujah. May the Lord reward you for me. Uh, silver and gold I don't have. What I have, I've been doing. I've been praying for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I started um, Believer's Weapons of Victory. When I say believer, that means that these weapons we are going to talk about cannot be used by anybody. If you take it, it's not going to work for you if you're not a believer. Who are the believers? People who have surrendered their lives to Jesus. If you don't live a surrendered life to Jesus, these weapons written in Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10 to 18 will never work for you. That means you have surrendered your life to Jesus. You are now a disciple of Jesus. Who are the disciples of Jesus? Those who follow Jesus. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 10 verse 1, Jesus called unto himself his, to his disciples and gave them power over and against because he knew that they were going to encounter satanic wind. They were going to encounter satanic storm. Satan was going to come against them. So he had to empower them. He first of all called them to himself. He taught them. He discipled them. Do you, can you see what, what I'm saying now? But he didn't give them power until he first he discipled them. We live in a society in the Christian don't wear People don't want to be discipled. And they want the weapons or the weapons in the kingdom. They want to use weapons are only given to commissioned soldiers. If you are not commissioned and you use those weapons, he didn't give you peace, he can't take your peace. He will not take your joy in the mighty name of Jesus. So we now know that Satan has declared war. And he has his own weapons. If you are, if you think that Satan doesn't have weapons, he has weapons. Anything God does, he does the counterfeit. He has another one. So God has weapons. He too has his own weapons. Hallelujah. He spoke to Jesus and said to him, all this, look, he said, in fact, he said, God has given your uh, angels to uh, commandments that uh, you will not dash your feet against the stone. Why don't you fall to the ground? Why don't you fall from the cliff? He knows the scripture. Satan knows from Genesis to Revelation. We that were still struggling to read from Genesis to Revelation, Satan knows back to back. Hallelujah. And that's why the Bible says, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, put it there. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. <laughs> In order that Satan might not outwit us. You didn't hear what I said? In order that Satan might, that means he, he can outwit you. He can play that game and, uh, you know, <laughs> and, and change it right there before you. But in order that Satan might not outwit us, for we are not unaware of his schemes. Another translation says that Satan will not outsmart us. <laughs> Say, God forbid. Say, Satan cannot win over me. He can outsmart me. Hallelujah. Another one says, we are not ignorant of these designs. Lest Satan should take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Another one says, so that you will not get the better of us. We all know what goes on in his mind. 
And Amon says, in order to keep Satan from getting the upper hand over us, for we know what his plans are. What is the plan of Satan? John 10, verse 10. To kill, to steal, to destroy. If the three fails, do you know what he's going to do? He will go back to the first one. To do what? To kill, to steal, and to destroy. So your only surviving mode is to get the word of God. Your only surviving, your, your, the only way you can survive the onslaught of Satan is to get the word of God. Just imagine if I was not born again. My own sister-in-law was a, was a head of our coven. Was a big witch. Ordinarily, when you look at her, she was so harmless, so, so frail. You know, I, I, in fact, when people are trying to I'll be defending her, I didn't know that I was defending a big witch. She'd be putting poison inside my food. Bury something under my bed. They, we live in a day where, look, let me tell you, any, anything is possible. Your next door neighbor could be, could be in the Illuminati. The other one can, can be anywhere. Are you understanding me? The Bible says, if you, if you are a, a, a child of God, make sure you are standing. Make sure your standing is sure. Don't put one leg in church and one leg outside. Put both legs in the church or remove your leg from the church and put both outside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the devil has his own weapon. The chief weapon of Satan is what? Fear. Fear. F-E-A-R. Fear. False evidence appearing real. All those years that I was sick because somebody was uh, putting up enchantment to, to kill me. You know, they wanted to kill me, but because I was born of God. The Bible says anyone that is born of God or far from it. So that, that means that whatever you are going through today, you will overcome. I, I'm, I'm telling you, you will overcome. If I overcame, you will overcome. You will overcome. In ministry, in marriage, in your, 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 your concerning raising up of your children, concerning your family, you will overcome. If you don't give up, if you have the word of God in the bank of your spirit, you will overcome. Amen. Hallelujah. So the chief weapon of Satan is fear. False evidence appearing real. My, 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 my brother, Pastor Kappa, when we were young, he, uh, he had the, this, uh, this your, the small room in London now. The quarter room, isn't it? Was it? The half room, yeah. So there was a half room in my father's house that he was, he was once sleeping there. So... Uh, in the middle of the night, he wanted to go to the toilet and found out that they are taking Nepa. And he saw a ghost. <laughs> he saw a ghost on the window. Like that's Casper, Casper, the world. Ooh, white ghosts. Woo! He said, in fact, he was so paralyzed. You know, fear can paralyze. He couldn't move. He couldn't move. He was like, God, I'm dead. Ooh. He wanted to shout. He couldn't shout, you know. You know, that's when, when, when things is going on in your dream and somebody is trying to suppress you. It's like, you're kind of, gee, 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 gee. they don't want you to say that Jesus. I mean, and suddenly, Nepa came back. Guess what? He looked through the window. He saw it was a shirt. He, 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 he was the other night that, was, that the wind was blowing. Oh, my God. Satan uses word. To inject fear. Like someone said, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with you. And that word has been ringing in your ear and things have been going wrong. And you are tying it to that word. I'll deal with you. Somebody is saying that I'll deal with you. A mortal human being. Even if they are we say that I'll deal with you. They release the word to put fear in you. Hallelujah. You as a child of God. 366 times in the Bible, God said, do not be afraid. One fear for every day. Do not be afraid. Hallelujah. Your fear will not come to pass. Every day I look at myself in the mirror and say, I'm, I'm not dying before my time. My mother will say, Lord, come and take paracetamol. I say, which one? Which paracetamol? I'm not sick. I'll start coughing. I'm the healed one. Hey, my mother, in fact, she thought that I was mental. Because I'm coughing. I say, I'm, say, I'm not coughing. I look sick. I say, I'm not sick. <laughs> so she was confused. You know? Bible say what I was what 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 was I was trying to do? I was trying to activate my weapon against the spirit of death that wants to terminate my young life. 
Bible says, why will look not at the things that are seen? First Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. But at the things which are not seen. The things which are not seen, they are eternal. The things which are seen, they are temporal. Bible says, calling those things that be not. I was calling forth my healing. I was calling forth my healing. I was calling forth my health. And against all of I refuse to see. The moment you see in the physical, that will win over you. If you take Satan to the realm of the spirit, you defeat him hands down. Write it down. You defeat him hands down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You suffocate him. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So Satan uses words to inject fear. Words are either spirit-filled, positive spirit-filled, or negative spirit-filled. Either word, words are spiritual. That's why you have to be careful the kind of words you speak over your children. If you say you're sure stupid idiot, Satan is writing it for you. You become stupid, you become idiot. If every time you have a headache, you say, ah, I have a headache. Oh, my cold has come back. That's it. It will never leave you. Yeah. Yeah. So Satan uses words. And words can destroy. Words can build. Words can, 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 can reduce you to nothing. That's why you have to be careful. There is power in your mouth. There is power of life and death. I chose to live. I chose to live. Even when they said my lungs had collapsed, there was no help again. Where would they go and be doing operation? Is it lungs? How did they remove it? How did they repair it? So for me to talk, be talking like this, it shows you that I, I received a first class miracle from God. Hallelujah. I received a first class miracle, undeniable miracle. Talking like this, before I could not talk like this. Before, when I take one, two, three steps, I'm tired, I'm wheezing. I'm, I, 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 and when I cough, all the wee-wee in my bladder comes out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 45 to 47. 1 Samuel, I'm still talking about satanic weapon now. 1 Samuel chapter 17. Verse 45 to 47. When Goliath threatened an entire nation. <laughs> so I will kill you people. I will destroy you. I will hold you in captivity. He came out big holding his chest. This and that. What was he trying to do? He was trying to put fear inside of them. Because fear paralyzes. Even if you were the best and you could fight. You know, somebody coming out like that will just paralyze you. That's what all these witches, by the time you say, hey, witch, ah, hey, when my husband died, so they say, ah, hey, well, can we come and get someone to be sleeping with us for what? Am I handicapped? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even when I, the, the next house help that we got, I didn't know she was uh, an agent. <laughs> for, for a battle fire an agent but you know what there is nothing to worry about anyone that is born of God will overcome the world hallelujah the Bible said the prince of this world cometh but finds nothing in you if he's coming like for example when, when, when they threw the three boys into the fire the, 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 the fire was looking for flesh the fire was looking for the things that they have eaten in the palace they didn't partake out of those things they didn't partake out of the corruption. They didn't partake out of the bribery. They didn't partake out of sleeping with other women. They didn't do it. So when the fire began to burn, the fire did not see anything to burn inside of them. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible said, the prince of this world cometh, but finds nothing. I pray for you. That when the devil comes knocking at your door, he will not be able to come inside. He will not be able to touch your children. He will not be able to touch your health. In the mighty name of Jesus. So when Goliath threatened, this, only the small David replied Goliath. Who is this one? Because he was not afraid. Why? He has seen God do it one, twice. He has fought with a bear. Bear that can tear anybody apart. Land that can tear anybody apart. He overcame. Remember those days that God did something in your life. It will give you the courage and the effort to confront any power, any devil, anywhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what? We, we know what David said. David had to respond. 
You need to break your silence. You have been silent over that problem. The thing is not brooding like a tsunami. It's coming gradually. You know something is threatening you, but you are not saying anything about it. You are too scared. Confront it headlong. David, I will swallow you up. I will kill you. I will bury you. Ha! Ah! In those days, that is what, what I was doing. I, I wake up in the middle of the night. I said, devil, I will bury you. I will destroy your kingdom. Hallelujah. I will not die before my time. <laughs> up in heaven, my husband, I'm sure he'll be smiling now because he didn't understand what was happening that time. So just like, like you are, you are crying, you're shouting for crying's sake. You don't want people to sleep. And this was me, I was dying. Trying to hold on to life. Hallelujah. The Bible says the kingdom of this one, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And the violence in the spirit, take it by force. You will take what belongs to you by force. Is it marriage? Is it health? Is it children? Is it finances? Hallelujah. Don't let the devil reduce you to a lame duck. David replied, I will destroy you. I will do this. I will do that. The same David I was saying that I will do this. He didn't have a bow. He didn't have sword like uh, the enemy. He only had the sling that he trusted his familiar weapon. That was all God, God needed. I don't know what is in your hand that God is going to use to, to catapult you to uh, the next level, the next dimension. Hallelujah. This is me. My own stepmother put a spell over me that I will not complete my education, that I will not become anything in this life. And said over me, that her daughter, Mercy, will be greater than me. He said it three times. He said, I should say yes, yes. I said yes. I said, I should walk out and I forgot about it. He couldn't tell my mother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know who has said something over you or over your children will break the spell of Simon the sorcerer. We'll break their spell today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In a moment, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an anointing like this, we are praying. When we are praying after the, the word, I believe God will give you an apocalypse. God will open the eyes of your spirit. If there's anything, if anyone manipulating you, anyone having an issue with you, trying to destroy you, God will show you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I saw myself going into that room as a four-year-old, five-year-old girl, and I heard every word she said. And in the twinkle of an eye, I began to pray. I pray, I prophesy, I break that spell, I destroy. That was the time I said that moving up in life. The only school I've ever went is this Bible school. And even the Bible school, I didn't go as though God called me. I was going because I know they said that uh, uh, maybe the, um, if, if I don't go, maybe they won't, uh, I won't become an hostess again or an usher again. That was the only reason why I went to Bible school. I didn't go to Bible school because I thought somebody called me. I went there because I thought that, well, maybe I will get a, 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 promotor, a, promotor, a promotion as a, an usher, a, a hostess, or whatever. I didn't know. So Bible school is the only official school that I finished. Either way, my destiny could not be truncated. Your destiny, the destinies of your children, they will never be truncated in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come and shout a bigger amen. amen. Shout a bigger amen. amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, David released his own word. You wake up, something is threatening your bosom. The first thing is not to go, go to, the first thing is to go, go to God. After you go to your doctor. That's the first point of call. You have a stupid dream. The first is, hey, ha, hey. Ah! Don't exhibit. The moment you exhibit fear, you have received the package. The moment you have one stupid dream, wake up and cancel it in the name of Jesus. Who is he that said it and it comes to pass? Lamentation chapter 3, verse 37. Therefore, I cancel this, I cancel it, I return back the package, back to sender. Finish. Back to sender. My sister-in-law that tried to kill me, she had died. Her mother died. Her grandmother died within the space of one year. Bible said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. In the Bible, it is forbidden to touch the anointed. 
You are the anointed. You are the Christos. Your children are anointed. Anyone that touched them, they are touching a life wire. Hallelujah. 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 So I'm still talking about the weapon that Satan has. The enemy is fear. Who remember Hitler? Hitler built a, concentrat a, a concentration camp. He puts all the people that he wants to change their mindset, put them inside, and puts a horn, speaker horn. And 24-7, the thing was, hail Hitler. Hitler is the greatest. Hail Hitler. Hitler is the greatest. After 21 days, mm, their mind was reprogrammed. If they talk, they say, hail Hitler. Hitler is the greatest. Just like zombie, hail Hitler. That is what the devil wants you to do. He wants to do to you. To make you a lame dog. To make you not to come to church. Don't you know the Bible says in um, Hebrews 10, 25, that we should not forsake the assemblies of brethren. Do you know why he the, the, Bible, the Bible says so? So that anytime you come together, iron sharpened iron. And what will be dropping your spirit that you need for future? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mark 11, verse 23, the Bible says, Whosoever shall say, shall say, Hitler understood that principle. Whosoever shall say, shall say, shall say, shall say. They said it for 21 days. Anytime you want to break an addiction, do something for 21 days and the thing will be permanent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another example. Another example. You know, uh, uh, the wife of Job. In Job, two, in Job 2 verse 9. When Job was afflicted. Job was looking for somebody to, to, to encourage him. Somebody to agree with his faith. Somebody to, to, to just beat him. What did the wife do? It was, the, it was Satan that moved the wife. Moved the wife to, 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 to bust his balloon and say, what, what, is, what is this all this you are doing? Just, just go and curse God and die. It wasn't that woman. It was Satan. It was Satan operating behind the curtain. So sometimes you see your friend doing something that they're supposed not to do. Don't be angry with them. We know who is behind what they said. We know who is behind what they did. Hallelujah. And that, that power will not go scot-free. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She delivered a deadly blow. Answered his pains with insensitive words. The Bible says in the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 12 verse 18. Put it there. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 18. There is he or she that speaketh like a piercing of a sword. Spoke insensitive words. But she was not the one in charge of those she spoke it because she just spoke it out of ignorance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So number one, weapon uses the word. And number two, weapon, it manipulates the mind. The area of attack is not just a, a physical. If you can get control of your mind, look at the, the Hitler. He programmed some things in their mind. If, you can, if the devil can program that you are nothing, that you cannot make it, and that you are just a dust, and that you are sick, you have accepted all the bad, bad things Satan is giving you, then nobody can help you. Go to Benihim. Go to who now? All the big, big men of God. Go to them and for prayers. Nobody can help you. But as a man thinking in his heart, so is he. You have accepted it. Say, God forbid. Say, I reject evil. Say, I must not die before my time. Say, I must not die before my time. I, 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 with passion, I, I hate anything that represents that. I must not die before my time. I must not. I, can, I will not. I'll be saying every time. Any, 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 anything that I want to say, something, something, just confront it. Nip it in the bud. Don't let it grow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Another example, 
when Jesus was with his disciples, a woman came to anoint him with an expensive perfume. Matthew chapter 26 or John 12. And immediately Satan went into action. Used <laughs> Judas <laughs> to say, this is a waste. How can you be uh, using expensive perfume on somebody? And that somebody was her master, her lord, can stand for a pastor. You are giving something to your pastor and somebody is criticizing it. It's not them, it's Satan behind that criticism. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So on Sunday, we said the number one chief weapon of the believer is the word. The word is like a hammer. <laughs> the word is like a hammer. When the, the last two months ago, we had their lunch hour fellowship with Jesus. And there was this Muslim lady that came. She took me aside and uh, opened her thorax. And <laughs> what I saw, my God. I mean, if not that uh, I'm a woman of God, I should not be afraid. When in Nigerian language, when they said, somebody uh, throw you at her, what was that? Arrow, hey, hey. come and see the kind of chaka chaka inside. I said, okay, you want to give your life to Jesus? Yes, I love Jesus. I want to give my life. So we took her by one side because there were a lot of people. When we started praying, my God, she was running from this side. I said, hey, I mean, people were running. I said, ah, what kind of wind is this? I mean, uncontrollable. You know what? There is Power in the word of God. Only just believe. You don't need to become a pastor. Or a, if you're a believer, you believe the word of God, the thing will work for you. Amen. I just created an invisible world around about a shakata, robo shakata, tata, mako shakata. You must not pass this world. The fire of God. And she was, she was just on the, just vibrating. I said, the word of God works. Amen. Hallelujah. You wake up in the middle of the night, you hear maybe your son or your daughter screamed. Go there. Several times you go there, take anoint your, anoint your children. Don't sleep. Parents don't sleep. Especially mother. Mothers don't sleep. They sleep like this. They don't sleep. Yeah. 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 They don't sleep. My own sister-in-law wanted to even initiate my children. Ah! You know? And that would have been the worst. Satan would just be uh, killing you silently because your children are all against you. How many people their children have been turned into witches, fighting their parents, fighting their mother, fighting their, their fathers? Boy, say the blood of Jesus stopped her. Most night I wake up, I'll go around the house and anoint everybody. I will speak in tongue. Speak in tongue all over, all over them. Hallelujah. Amen. Mothers, don't, don't sleep. Anoint your children. Anoint them for protection. Anoint them for excellence. Praise the name of the Lord. So the word of God is powerful. The word of God is like a hammer. It's like an axe. It cannot put anything. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. For the word of God is living and active. Sharper than any two-edged sword. It's only the word that can go to your liver and correct it. It's only the word of God that can go and create a new lungs for Revelino Ladapo. Don't you know it takes someone with a good lungs to be preaching the way I'm preaching? We gave the devil shocky. Hmm. Hallelujah. Piercing to the dividing of soul and spirits and of joints and of marrow and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the earth. The word of God is a strong, surest weapon of the believer that guarantees that you stay in the ring of life till the game is over. I tell the devil, it cannot be over. It cannot be over. There are so many prophecies hanging over my life that must have to come to pass. It must not be over. Hallelujah. It's a war. What is going on? The devil is fighting over your destiny. You must not fail God. That's why you cannot afford to, to, to live in sin. Even if you fall into sin, unknowingly repent, sharp, sharp, because the devil is crouching outside of the door, 
wanting to come inside of your life. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It means you must maintain daily confession, daily meditation of God's word, which is non-negotiable. Take time to store the word of God in the bank of your spirit. During the affliction, I would sit down midnight, because I couldn't sleep, couldn't sleep for years, and be storing the word of God. Isaiah 53, verse 5. He was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquity. The chastisement of my peace was laid upon Jesus. By his stripes I'm healed. Hey, with long life, he said he would satisfy me. I, I have plenty of scriptures I was quoting that I have it in my spirit. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, finally be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Paul said, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wise of the earth. So if you put on one armor, it's, it's not going to work. I've told you last year uh, on Sunday that the word of God runs the other weapons. Inside the word of God, you have your faith, shield of faith. Inside the word of God, you have the breastplate of righteousness. Inside the word of God, you have the helmet of salvation. That's why you are not on the street, a mad woman, a madman. The devil will have gladly turned you to be a mad person. But because of the word of God, your mind is stabilized. Your heart is stabilized. You know that your heart beats like a, like a rhythm. Like a begin, 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 begin. Any, any heart that's begin, 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 is out of order. So it is the word of God that stabilizes the heart. So if there's any abnormalities in your heart, will release the word of God to stabilize your heart. The word of God to stabilize your heart. The word of God to fumigate your spirit. In the name of Jesus, shout a bigger amen. amen. So there are bullets for your weapons from the word of God that you can use. <laughs> ah, my sister, in, law, in fact, in here she'll be saying, oh, I think we should not have touched it. There are some people who don't touch them. I'm sure they, they didn't tell her in their COVID that this one don't touch her more. Hey, not born on you. <laughs> don't touch her more. You know? <laughs> don't touch her. Don't touch her. You know? But where was God when, when they were doing that to me? Where was God? The thing went on for years. And God was still in heaven. And God is still in heaven. And God was looking. And God have told them that you must not, you can't kill her. And God used all the pressures of hell to break the alabaster box in my spirit. And it was too late. They couldn't stop it because the, the oil started flowing. So all the things you have gone through is releasing an anointing over your life. In due season it shall manifest. I said shall manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. So the word of God tells you, the word of God tells you where you're seated. As you're studying the word of God, it tells you where you're seated. So nobody can tell you, oh, you need deliverance. You need deliverance from what place? Because when you got born again, the word born again, you were saved in Sozo. You were saved. You were delivered. You were healed. You were prosperous. All you have to do is to be, as you're studying the word of God, all this shall manifest. It shall manifest. What I am today is not as a function of the university I could have gone, no. Because I went to the college at his feet. The word of God, inside the word of God, there is physics, there is biology, there is everything, finance, everything is there. Praise God. Are you getting something? So the word of God tells you where you are seated. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6. We are raised up together to see. So your position is a position of power. When I got to know that, I stopped being afraid of witches and wizards. They are the least in the satanic kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. As a grandmother, I'm not a principality. <laughs> Powers together. Hey, <laughs> shagala, da, 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 da. You come near me, you, I finish you. That my, um, the, I said, I, I, I took a house girl. Let me just tell you, sharp, sharp. Mm. The day she came, the day she came, I wasn't the one that prayed for her. My uncle, that was a pastor, prayed for her. And uh, in the night time, there was no light. I don't like sleeping in dark. I don't like. But the, the, the light went and uh, they forgot to bring the um, lamp, lamp into my room. So I just, I don't sleep deep. 
maybe because of the afflictions of years of not sleep, so I don't sleep deep. I just felt some, something was coming from the toilet. I'm sure you know my hair. Coming from the toilet, I saw the figure of a woman coming and going to, towards the uh, corridor. I said, who is that? Who is that? Who are you? I was the only one. My husband just died. I just said, no, they, they want to put fear. I just spoke in the Rabosta, Likataba, Historian, Damasha, Ruba. I just slept, mom. In the morning, I told her, are you born again? He said, yes. Can you speak in tongue? Eh. I said, you can't speak. Say yes. Do you want to speak? Say yes. So I led her to Christ. She began to speak. You cannot fault this girl. She knows her job very well. She, I mean, I mean, whatever she had, she put it outside so that I would not see it. Because I didn't see anything wrong with her. Around March, I was going to the toilet in my room. That toilet in my room. There was nothing on the ground. There was no uh, water, nothing, nothing. How my leg just twisted, big like this. And my head was heading for the pavement. Just, I needed half a second. I just did like this. And my, this entered the pavement. I felt the pain in my head. That one went. After some time, my mommy called me that. My mom is blind. She's been blind for 19 years now, so. Say, Bruce, somebody's giving me injection in the dream. I say, maybe you are hallucinating. Say, no, I'm not hallucinating. I'm feeling the hand. I say, I'm, that somebody, I, I, I prayed for her. John, fasting and praying. We started fasting. After the six I was so weak. I said, let me stop. In the night, I just saw her. She just came in my dream. Back like this. She came like a queen of the coast. I said, happiness. Yes, I have come for you. I said, eh? You have come for me. In fact, that she came for me. I just got another deal. I gave her no packet. What, sir? <laughs> I gave her no packet. <laughs> and I woke up. Jesus. I said, I speak about Riba Shata, Ruba Kusaya, Ayayaya, in Jesus of God, I command you, Mako Shakata, the glory cloud, all around this place, trap them. That by the time I woke up in the morning, she has already, uh, uh, sorry, ma, uh, I have to go. Uh, it's an emergency. Uh, what happened? Uh, I'll tell you before. She did, couldn't even tell me anything. She ran out of the house. I said, okay, now. I'm, I, I say, eh? So I told my mother, I said, okay, don't let me do it being sensitive. I tried to call her, she didn't pick my call. I called maybe about 15 times, she didn't pick my call. Then I called the pastor that brought her. That one called her. One time she picked the call. I said, okay. So I told that one. I said, this is what is ha happening. Oh. So she didn't want to come back. Now I said, and I'm now look at her WhatsApp. Now, if you are here, try to look. Thank you. God bless you. Try to look at your WhatsApp. All these monitoring people. I don't, I'm not trying to scare you because me, I've experienced too much of all these stupid people. Try to look at your WhatsApp. Some, some like you, you gave somebody a job and now they're now monitoring your WhatsApp. Are they your friends? Block them. Yeah. Do sensitization. Every three, three months, be looking at your status. Who is, who is, who has eagle eye watching you? Be watching them. So, and I saw her this thing. I said, let me look at her status. Gaga, I put her there. Guess what was on her status? I said, meye bolakbo. What, 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 translate that. I'm just starting. And that was when, that was March when I fell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to understand that when the Bible says no weapon formed against you shall prosper, God means no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You have to make it a declaration. You have to make it your confession. It's not enough to know it in your mind. You need to confess it and declare it every day over your children. What you say, what you, what happens today is as a result of what has happened six months ago. Are you understanding me? The confession you are enjoying today is as a result of the things you have said, the things you have maintained for the past six months. Start doing something now. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Someone say, thank you, Jesus. So, the word of God tells you where you are seated. It tells you your years is going to be prolonged. That means you can't die before your time. Psalm 91 verse 16. It tells you how to increase your faith and capacity to believe God. The things I'm doing right now is as a result of the things I contacted from the word of God. I broke into another realm. I pray for frontline ministry. You are going to break into another realm. In the ministry, in your individual lives, you break into another realm. The realm of favor. The realm of breakthrough. Where life becomes easy for you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Increases your capacity for prayer. You know, I can pray for two hours nonstop. The spirit of intercession. Sometimes I send you those kind of, yeah, I just wake up. The thing with those, it's the word of God. It's the word of God. Spend time. Anytime you want to read the word and your eyes is heavy, it's like they put one coin on your eye. You want to sleep like Tom and Jerry. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Jump up. Start marching. Put water and put your leg inside. <laughs> Hallelujah. The word of God reveals that you are the righteousness of God in Christ. Uh, you have not changed. You sin the other time. You see the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, a new creature. Believe it. Forgive yourself. You made a mistake. Forgive yourself. Move on. Believe the mercy of God has covered. Believe it. Because one of the tricks of the heaven is to make you to, 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 to live in condemnation. But I said, there's therefore, Romans chapter 8 verse 1, there's therefore now no condemnation for them who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The word of God tells you that you are victorious, that you are protected. That's what the word of God tells you. That's why it's a weapon. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 9, and they shall fight against you, but they shall not prevail over you, because I'm with you to deliver you. Those words ring in my spirit. Anytime I've come against a brick wall, say Satan is trying to manipulate. Hey, I'll just laugh. Laugh hard. They shall fight against me, but they shall not prevail over me. Because God is with me as a mighty, terrible one. Anyone that comes against me will be persecuted. Will be grinded into powder. It, I'll just issue it as a decree. And it will come to pass. Just imagine when I said that I just, by faith, I just march around like a, I'm marching around like a wall, wall of Jericho. And I said, I resist fire. You, this, you must not pass this. And she could not. She was just shaking the grip, violent. And her, this her chest was going up and down. I've never seen that kind of thing. Just like she wants to break into two, just piggy bagger, piggy bagger. Ah, I said, you are leaving this woman. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need to surrender your life to Jesus. Stop playing church. Don't go and, and go, go, go to where there's mixed multitude and you'll be lost in the crowd of life. Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5. For I said the Lord will be unto her a wall of fire and about, and will be the glory in the midst of her. So God has not left us at the mercy of the devil. When Jesus went to the cross, he defeated Satan hands down. He defeated Satan, the Ababa, who defeated him. Hands down. And as believers, we need to be strong in what Jesus has done for us. If you have a terminal disease, this is the time to, to, to test that word. <laughs> I will have died. That's just what it was. I will have died. But I cooperated with the word of God. I cooperated with it. You didn't receive the spirit of God the Holy Spirit is inside of you to close, come and be speaking in tongue. You have received the God there and perform signs and wonder. Go there and release some word. Go there and walk in power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go there and walk in power. Praise the name of the Lord. Through what Jesus did, we have been empowered to live a victorious life. As you meditate, as you ponder, ponder and declare God's word over your life, I see you overcome challenges. I see you thriving and reigning in the ring of life in the name of Jesus. So number two weapon, I'll go quickly right now. Number two weapon is the name of Jesus. Anytime my sister is operating in her room, you know what she will say? Oh yeah, mommy, my will call. That means mommy start coughing. That's what she tell me. She told me. She will say, how do you, how do you do it? I will be saying, 
I will send it. It's, it's a word. Wind will carry it to my room. Mommy, start coughing. And I'll start coughing. I'll cough and cough and cough until I, I, I'm breathless. I'm almost passing out. And when I say, Jesus! That guy, the thing will stop. My husband said, well, why are you shouting? You have to shout. Ah, somebody is dying. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, shall be delivered. I don't know whatever thing that the enemy is trying to do. Don't forget that name, Jesus. That name has been empowered in three dimensional worlds. In the realm of darkness, Jesus is Lord. The Bible says Jesus is the head of all principalities and powers. He's the head of all the Illuminatis, all the head of the agents. He surpasses all of them. Only the name, they, they dare not call his name in their circle. All of them, they, 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 there will be fire in, in, their, in, in their meeting. Hallelujah. Amen. In the realm of darkness, he's Lord. In the physical, he's Lord. In heaven, he's Lord. That name has been empowered. That name has been empowered. It's a weaponized name. Come on, shout Jesus. One more time, say Jesus. One more time, Jesus. That season when I cried, Jesus. There was nothing else to do. Mercy was not working. Nothing was working. And I was dying. And there was only one thing to do. Just cry, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. So the name of Jesus is the instrument of the, for the miraculous. Anyone that calls upon that name shall be delivered. Cancer bows to that name. Sugar diabetes bow to that name. Asthma bows to that name. Hypertension bows to that name. Poverty bows to that name. Untimely death bows to that name. Come on, shout Jesus. The name of Jesus is an antidote for spiritual begging. Don't beg the devil. Satan, leave me alone. I'm married to Jesus. What's this kind of stupid song is that? Satan, leave me alone. What's that? If you don't want to be a beggar, begging Satan, begging demons, begging sickness, begging witches and wizards, use the name of Jesus with authority. Matthew chapter 10 verse 1. Jesus called unto himself his disciples. He gave them power over and against Satan. Ah, a believer, you are a dangerous, you are a dangerous moving van. You are dangerous with the devil. Stop living in sin. That's why Satan waters down your power. Waters down your authority. Hallelujah. How can you have a gun and you don't want to put bullets inside? And all the stupid uh, witches, uh, small, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, small, small witches that are terrorizing you. You think that there are no witches in London? Sophisticated one. Like my shandy one. As the word of God is being ministered, that name will manifest in your family. That name will manifest in your life. God will give you a rhema, a revelation of his name. He will give you an understanding of his name. Someone shout Jesus again. Jesus. <clears throat> Number one, weapon is what? The word of God. The name of Jesus. Number two, three is the weapon of faith. I love that. I gave you the definition of faith. What does the definition of faith? Faith is what? It's a strong, eh? <laughs> yeah. Say it again. I said it again. Say it again. Uh, I said faith is a strong conviction in something for which there is no proof. There was no proof that God healed me. But every time I give the devil my proof, the word of God, he's the God that healed me. He sent forth his word and he healed as I'm healed. I'm delivered. My mother said, take my rest my mama. Do you want me to, do you want to kill me? I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sick. My, my, my mother, in fact, my, my mother has suffered for me. <laughs> because she's like, who's sick? In the, my soul is sick. Who is sick? And I'll go back, go to the mirror, and I'll start speaking to the image I'm seeing. You're putting on flesh. This this one, I'm trying to slim down. Before I was like, like my shandy, I was drying up. That thing was drying me, drying my, everything was dried up. All my two queen apples falling down from the tree. No water. Yeah. Yeah. My color, my name is Ro Rosaline. I, I didn't bleach. My name is Rosaline. 
in those days, I became pale like um, uh, gray. Like that. Yeah. I was, I was, devil wanted to kill me, but I refused to die. I refuse, I refuse to die. Uh, I refuse to die. Those that want to kill you, they will die the death. Those that want to kill your children, they will die the death. In the name of Jesus, I said, hey, but, but please, uh, don't be praying for enemies to die. Uh, hey. <laughs> there are different types of enemies, oh. three categories. Number one category, those enemies that are just jealous in you, that are just beefing you, this and that. Uh, God, God should not kill them because they must have to be alive to see what you become. The second enemy that want to join forces with Satan, join forces with everybody, they just hate you, hate your God, this, da, 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 da. Uh, they will not, they will, God will paralyze them. The third one, you have now become a principal, you have not joined forces with Satan. You have taken something, you have made a vow that this person, until you die, I have to die. Ah, they will die. Ah, they will die. The dominion that Jesus, the, that God gave to us in Genesis chapter 1 from verse 28 is not a stupid dominion. <laughs> it's not a stupid dominion. He said, have dominion over the fishes of the sea, the one that is flying everything, have dominion. And if there is anything that is trying to rebel, subdue them. Hallelujah. Jesus gave us power over and against. Anyone that refused to cast out, will cast them into the fire. They will roast by fire. Hallelujah. Yes, we can't kill Satan. We know we can't kill him. He's a spirit. But we, 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 we can destabilize his uh, operation. We can cast him out of this region. Can't go, go somewhere and, and bother them. Or something is die, 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 die. He ain't dying, no. He's still alive. He's still going up and down. Go up and down. But you, as a child of God, you can give me a restraining order. I said, touch not my anointed. In fact, by the time you want to sleep, you release cloud of glory. When they are flying, hey, they see some house on fire. They pass Revenue's house. Hey, my gosh, don't go there. See furnace, Jesus. They go to some of your houses. See Jesus. See, see fire is born around that place. They go to some places. Everything is cool and calm. Light, chandelier, and hey, they can enter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 12, fight the good fight of faith, lay on on eternal life. The Bible said, the just shall live by his faith. If you are trying to live by your experience, what is happening to this, what is happening to you right now, you are going to miss it. The just shall live by his faith. Your faith is a powerful weapon that provokes God to arise. If the enemy touches anything, don't allow him to touch your faith. If you take the devil from this realm to the realm of faith, you disarm him. He can't function. That's why you must live by faith. Don't live through the eyes, the things you see. Are you understanding me? Don't live. If I have to say, oh, my lungs is weak, then that, that means I, I've, I, I've, I've accepted I'm going to die. I will have died. Why will look not at the things which are seen? Oh, prophesy to myself, you are putting on weight, you are not dying, I see you living. I, I say so many things to that mirror, to the person I'm seeing. Hallelujah. Faith, faith without work is dead. I was activating my faith to live. Praise God. Are you getting something? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So faith is now. Faith does not have an option. You see that you believe God or you don't believe God. When I saw that the medicine was not working, I stopped taking medicine. Because the medicine was magnifying that thing inside of me. Anytime I take medicine, that was when the thing. So I knew it was not. Because all the, there were at one time, 15 consultants in Lagos came and surrounded me. They didn't know what was going on with me. Um, 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 cleaners, they were coming. This woman, you know, go die. It's a lie. He said, lie, you will not die. He will not die. They will not chop you. This, <laughs> I, I, met, I was on the bed. I, I was holding on to their our life. And my husband, some stupid uh, men of stupid, satanic men of God. Shame, no, shame, don't catch them very, very well. Because I'm still alive. 
They say, go and strengthen your children because your wife will soon die. God said we should come and they tell you so they can strengthen. And my children will come to the hospital and be doing like this. They will be sitting there, all of them, including my husband. Me, I was telling them with my eyes, I will leave. I was not saying about us. I, my, my spirit was saying something. Store the word of God in the bank of your spirit. So when affliction comes, your spirit will be strong to, to maintain your body. I'm closing up right now. Hallelujah. 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 So faith is a strong, write it down. Faith is a strong conviction in something for which there is no proof. If you are trying to look for the proof of God's healing, you may not find it. But the word of God gives you the evidence. It's enough. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. I held on to it for years. For years. I didn't die today. Okay, I'm going tomorrow. They will say you are going to die tomorrow. I will. Tomorrow, I'm still alive. As the night is coming, the night, the night, Satan uses the night to, as a cover-up to operate. It gets terrible, more terrible in the night. My, my life was trying to come out. Come out. And I said, it's a lie. When you can speak in tongue, why will the devil be tormenting you? I dare you speak in tongue every day. Every night. As you are driving, after some times, your tongues become tongues of fire. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I close. Number four, weapons of prayer. Write down. Jeremiah 33 verse 3, call upon me and I will answer you. Prayer is useless without the word. Prayer is useless with an unforgiving spirit. It is time to let go of the person that has offended you. Give them amnesty, let them go. Because you are hindering yourself. You are stopping your progress. So now give them. It's too much power to give somebody to be controlling your life. Give them amnesty, let them go. Forgive them. Forgive them. James 5 verse 17, the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous avails more. Your prayer makes power available to you. Every time I pray, power comes. Every time I pray, don't you ever go without praying. Don't you ever sleep without praying. Don't take God for granted. Don't take the Holy Spirit that you have for granted. Always pray. Deposit something on the altar. Hallelujah. If Jesus could, uh, uh, needed to pray, how much more you? He needed to pray. He was 100% God, 100% man. He had to pray. He prayed to draw strength from his father. He prayed to, to, to get ammunition for the day from his father. Intense prayer. When your, when your church calls for night vigil, don't shy away. You know how many night vigils have gone? Ah, we have put plenty of things on the altar. That is still speaking. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Intense prayer. In your home, drives away satanic and evil influences. So every time you come for prayer, see the kind of tongues your pastor speak. I need to hear the one you speak to so that, because I, I, I want to come under those kind of, yeah, powerful. He, her, even her singing in the spirit. It's not everybody that can sing in the spirit like that. It, it flows. It, it, it's like, uh, by the time you come out of that, depression will leave you. Huh? Confusion will live your life. Hallelujah. 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 Second to the last, number one, second to the last is shout. Sometimes the problems has overwhelmed you. You have prayed. You have praised. You have worshipped. Give him a shout. Jesus. Do you know what your shout does? Your shout announces the arrival of the King of Kings. God has come to take over the matter. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the first shout. The second shout is that you are announcing the defeat of Satan concerning you. The third shout is that you are announcing your victory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The last weapon you must have you need to activate it tonight. Is speaking in tongue. Acts 1 verse 8. You shall receive power. 
after that the Holy Ghost has come. Power. Hey, do you know what that means? Me, I believe it all. You know, I didn't go to, you know, people that go to too much school, you know, uh, they will be working by reasoning. It doesn't work. Two plus two is two. Uh, I said two plus two is a five. Oh, it's not two. I, I said no. Two plus two. Count it. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four. I said no. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, so God, it's more easy for me to receive the word of God. Are you understanding? Because I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to argue. Hallelujah. You shall see power. After that, the Holy Ghost, your countenance will change. Inside of you will start jiggy, 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 jiggy. You are praying something with that. You want, you want to pray, pray, pray. But when you get home tonight, you see the auto prayer will come. Ah, the auto prayer will come. And don't stop. Once it comes, don't stop it. Don't stop it. Once it comes, you need to build up on it. I want you to stand up. I want you to stand up. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to stand up. Hallelujah. Come and lift up your hand. I'm going to blast in tongues. Blast in tongues. Blast in tongues. Mariba Shata. Roko Secretary Abashata. Rekeketeya. The Bible says uh, in, 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 Jer in Jeremiah 51, verse 20 to 24. You are my battle axe and sword, says the Lord. You are my weapons of warfare. Come on, speak in tongues. Uh, you are speaking into another dimension. Uh, God is taking you to another dimension. Uh, if there's any sin in your life, you're going to repent right now. Ask God, forgive me. Cleanse me. Uh, cleanse me uh, from every secret fault. Uh, oh God, uh, I repent. Uh, I don't want Satan to come into me and my life. I uh, have anything to do with me. Uh, like, oh, I repent. Uh, cleanse me. Uh, cleanse me from every secret fault. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen to this now. Listen to this now. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18. Pray with all kinds of prayer. Don't go and come and pray one kind of religious prayer. And uh, God, uh, uh, God, thank you, Jesus. Because, uh, please. Pray the scriptures. Go and find out where it is written. All those things that, all those scriptures that your pastors have been sharing, and those ones that resonate with your spirit, that jumps up, just use it and use it to pray. It is written. Satan doesn't understand that, uh, God, you know, you said, you know, uh, I see me, oh, um, 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 I, I need to get married. I need, yeah, he doesn't understand all these things. Are you understanding me? He, what, what, what he understands is a command, giving command. It is written. You must not touch the anointed of God. I'm the anointed, I'm the Christos. I rebuke her in the name of Jesus. The thing will go down. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says pray with all kinds of prayer. When you're about to pray, that means you must pray a uh, 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 prayer of binding and losing. After you have worshipped, after, after you have worshipped God, you have praised him. You have, you have honored him. Hallelujah. You pray prayer of binding and loose. Whatever you, 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 you release is released. Whatever you forbid is forbidden. Father, therefore, I forbid evil in my family. I forbid this. I forbid that. You pray prayer of intercession. I pray for my wife. I pray for my husband. I pray for different kinds of prayer. So you, you, know, you cannot exhaust your prayer language. Lift up your hands right now. We're going to pray in the spirit. Uh. Oh, yeah. We're going to, we're going to see those prayer points. Uh. Come, we're going to speak those, those prayer points. Uh. Come, we're going to see the things you're asking God. Come, we're going to see. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Ropa shata. Lekate mahusta labisa. Ekede de bakosha. Mata balabababa. Roko sotori ambashaya. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We activate our weapons against the spirit of death tonight. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, I have five more minutes. What God said to do here tonight is to activate our weapons against the spirit of death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David cried in Psalm 102, verse 24. Take me not away in the midst of my days. That years are through generations. Begin to reject the spirit of death over your life. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Begin to read over your children. Come and cry to God. Cry to God. I refuse. I reject the spirit of death. I reject untimely death over my life. Come against every arrangement of hell. 
for you to die prematurely. Come and delete your name from the register of death. Delete the names of your children. Come on. Zepel Hostaha. Zalehandara Bakashaya. Leketeri Bashaya. Numbers 23, 23. No enchantment, no divination uh, against me prospers. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, no enchantment, no divination prosper against my children, uh, against my family. Reke uh, Bashaya. Enchantment abroad. Uh, enchantment at my workplace. Uh, enchantment in the neighborhood. Uh, it will not prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Isaiah chapter 25 verse 7. The Lord strip away the better clothes. Uh, Bear that clothes of cancer. I stripped it off your life. Bear that clothes of diabetes. I stripped it off your life. It will not cover you. It will not bury you. Mashatalabayande. Rosope. Makashakata. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Robobosaya. Psalm 91, verse 15. He shall call upon me. And I will answer him. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon him. Call upon him. Call upon him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him. I will honor him. Come and use the name of Jesus. Come and call Jesus. Call Jesus. Lord Jesus. Every place that marks our barrier begins to become the, 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 the place of our celebration. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, Mashaka ta 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 ta. In the mighty name of Jesus, now look, look here, look here, look here. Two more minutes. You are going to send the word of God, like a two-edged sword. Send it to your kidney, your liver, your 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 pancreas, where every department, your brain, everywhere. Let the word of God flush every impurity, flush it out. Lift up your hands, send the name of Jesus. Uh, I send the word of God, uh, like a two-edged sword into my spirit, into my soul, into my body. Every impurity, every arrow, I command you, be flushed out. Come and pray. Pray for your children. We send the word of God to our homes. Every stranger in our space. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Lift up your hands and I'll pray over you. Lift up your hands. Close your eyes. When I prophesy, you say amen. You will come to your grave in full age. The numbers of your days you will fulfill. God will grant you long life. You will not die before your time. All that God has spoken concerning you shall come to pass. It shall come to pass quickly. It shall come to pass suddenly. It shall come to pass hastily and without warning. In the name of Jesus. Lastly, Genesis 26 verse 11. And Abimelech charged all his people saying, He that touches this man or, this, or his wife, he shall surely be put to death. I come against the powers of the occult. Every power that wants to terminate your life, that wants to touch your children, let them go into captivity. As the word of God says, they shall be put to death. In the name of Jesus, I build a wall of fire about you and your children, run about you and your family. I release a glory cloud. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 4, verse 5. Upon the assemblies and upon her, there shall be the glory of God. The glory of God shall be your defense. May the glory of God defend you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Are you ready to shout that three? Hallelujah. Wait. Uh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. you to bring a thanksgiving offering. I feel it in my spirit. They didn't tell me to do it. Just come and put it on the altar. A thanks God has done something in your family tonight. Okay, yeah, yeah. Come on, come, come and say it. Bring my bag for me, please. 
Give me my post, my post. God has done something. Don't forget as you are going home, be speaking in tongue. As you are entering your home, make sure you are speaking in tongue. Don't let that fire. Rako Where is there? Is there a bucket or something? Come, come and give me light. Come and give me. Come and give me envelope, please. Bring your offering. Bring it. Bring it forward. Bring it forward if you have it. Bring it forward. Write on the scissor paper quickly. Quickly. Yeah, write it. Yes. Yeah. Are you coming? Yeah, give them an envelope. Give them an envelope. Father, in the name of Jesus, lift it up. This is our thanksgiving offering. We thank you for great and mighty things you have done in our families. Great and mighty things you have done in frontline ministries. In the name of Jesus, the gates of hell shall not prevail against this church. The gates of hell shall not prevail against every member. In, in the name of Jesus, hold in. In the name of Jesus, come on, come on, come on, come on. Lift it up, lift it up. Father, in the name of Jesus, this is our thanksgiving offering. We will surely testify that you are going to do amazing things. <laughs> How can this thing be kind of miracle is coming into our family? It's coming into our home. In the name of Jesus, you will prolong the years of the king. You will prolong our years. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Jesus' name. Marambakosoteria. Arida Arida dadadaba kasata. Roko sonte de de dabaka zala bahashanta leke de de dabosaya. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! 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 Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you so much for what you have done tonight. We give you praise, we give you glory, honor, majesty, dominion, and power. Let's thank the Lord for what has happened tonight. Come on. Let's give him praise. Give him praise. You can do better than that. Let's appreciate God. Let's thank him for all. As the word of God was coming, I believe that a lot of issues were being dealt with in the spirit. Just thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We are grateful. We are grateful. Oh, hallelujah. You have done marvelous things, Father. Thank you so much. The powers of hell have bowed. The power of death is broken. Oh, we bless your name. Come on, thank him. Thank him. Thank him, please. Please thank him. Please thank him. Appreciate God. He has done great things tonight. He has done great things tonight. We give him glory, praise, honor, majesty. Hallelujah. You will not die before your time. Your children will not die. Every plan of the devil for you is canceled tonight. Before you came here, we prayed. And we told God that there are some things that will stop today. God will put finality to those issues. And I believe he has done so tonight. If you connect your faith, amen, then you must know that something has happened here tonight. The devil is already, is already running. He's running. He's running. He's running. Because it is over. The siege is over. The siege is over. The siege is over. We don't just bring people for nothing. We have prayed that God, as this woman of God is coming, those things that have been pending in people's lives, they are settled tonight. He brought her because of you. Hallelujah. They are settled tonight. They are set. If you can only believe the word of God. Believe the word of God. As you are going back home, those things have left. There's a new boldness that has been released in your spirit. 
a new boldness. When you get home, you confront the things that have been confronting you. You will chase after them. Run after them. Take the sword of God and chase them. And release unrecoverable damage. Unrecoverable damage. Her coming here is not in vain. So you are not going back to business as usual. You have become a warrior by excellence. Glory to God. Your eyes must be blazing like fire. Can you see the fire in her eyes? The fire. There is a transmission of that fire into your eyes, into your life. A warrior's anointing. We are not taking all those rubbish. Amen. We are not taking all those rubbish. There are sometimes you get to a place, woman of God, thank you so much. You can see that she preached from her life. That's why you don't run away from the afflictions you are going through. You need to confront them and come out as a champion. How can you be a champion if there's nothing you are fighting? Hallelujah. That is what made her a champion, an authority on this subject. She's become an authority. If she had run or she had died or she had given up, she won't be here today. So get in the ring. <laughs> Hey, get in the ring. Am I talking to somebody? Don't run away from the ring. Give them a jab here and a jab here. Black eye. <laughs> Praise God. And say, today, you won't kill me. You'll be the one that will die. Bury you. Something has... See, it's not just the word. There's the spirit behind the word. That if you notice, has been released into you. The spirit behind the word. That spirit of a warrior has been released upon you now. No more weakness. No more crying. No more, I don't even know. The devil is after me. No, you are the one after him now. Hallelujah. Do you believe what we are saying? I'm just trying to confirm and affirm the word that is coming from the woman of God. Hallelujah. While she was speaking, I remember we were going to minister in Birmingham. A day before we went, my son, he just said, I'm feeling weak. I'm feeling weak. Hey, hey. Do you remember that night? I'm feeling weak. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. And he was, he was going to slump. See me, my stature. Look at him. I held him and his dad was behind. I was like, he was going down. Kayato. Something rose up in me like a lioness. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't. I can't. I, can't. I said, no. You are going. I screamed. Jesus. Hallelujah. So we dragged him to our bedroom. I, you know, we were praying. Laid hands on him. Kabo Shataya. I come against you, spirit of death. You are getting out of my home. In the name of Jesus, I call you back by the authority in Jesus' name. Thank God that we can pray. Thank God we can pray. I'm going to preach the next day. Many things that happen, we don't tell you. We have to go through the same thing that you go through. Amen. And then he started coming back. Then I prayed over water, drank it. Amen. And it was fine. So when we were going the next day, we were checking on him in the room. <laughs> checking. So look after him. But we were confident that God was looking after him. God knows what they planned that night. The plan of the devil did not prevail. And we never prevail. In the name of Jesus. See my size. I was trying to. He was. I said no. <laughs> you know sometimes you come out of your body. Your spirit is now taking over in the name of Jesus. Like I always tell you that the gift of faith comes, you know, alive in emergencies. Emergency. Everything the woman of God has said, please go and pray. Go and listen to the message again. Store the word of God in your spirit. Hallelujah. Because you can't be more than a conqueror. Even though you are but you cannot see the expression 
if the word is not there. So don't let's joke with the word of God. Hallelujah. Let us store that word in our spirit. Man of God, thank you. Thank you very much. Your voice will continue to resound in the name of Jesus. The authority that you carry, because there are levels of authority. An authority, we all have authority, but there are authority that come because of the things you confront and overcome. And because of that now, when she confronts anything which, that's nothing again. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's nothing again. Praise God. You are an overcomer. You will continue to overcome. You will continue to overpower. Let's stretch our hands towards the woman of God and pray for her. Oh, Shaka Pata. She has poured out her heart to us today. She has taught us methods and ways of spiritual warfare. Weapons of mass destruction released into our hands. Father, we pray for your servant. Libro de Shakata Palagade. Reka Pola Mababa. We surround you with a hedge of fire. A ring of fire of the Holy Ghost. No weapon of the enemy fashion formed or designed against you, against your ministry, against your children. It shall not stand. In the name of Jesus. Marobo shata, elia kasunta, merakapa, mabrakoto shabalababa, lekatoya. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray your divine protection as she goes about declaring your word, as she becomes your mouthpiece, O oh Lord. Protect her, build a wall of fire around her, God be the glory in the midst of her. In the name of Jesus, we soak in the precious blood of the Lamb. We say, God, let our voice continue to resound. Let our voice reach the ends of the earth. Open doors, oh God. Doors of favor. Doors of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Do great and mighty things through her life, oh God. Replenish her. Renew her. Refuel her. Every virtue that has left tonight. Oh God, we pray that you replenish. In the name of Jesus. Supply, oh God, every need every resource for her life for the ministry we receive on our behalf of god in the name of jesus all those issues those desires of our heart the desire to build a center father grant unto her the land the building the resources the people that will give to that ministry to that work begin to speak to them wherever they are all across the world in the mighty name of Jesus thank you father Lord we give you praise we give you glory honor and majesty for what you have done for us tonight we are extremely grateful thank you father in Jesus name and Lord we bless the offering tonight as people have given with all their heart father I pray as many who are struggling with their finances by reason of the anointing that is here today Lord, we ask for divine breakthrough in their finances in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that this seed has broken the head of the serpent. Thank you, Lord God, because the issues that have been hindering their lives are destroyed tonight. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Wow, it's been awesome tonight.